in this lesson we will learn to conduct a harmonic analysis study so the data from the harmonic analysis study is useful for filter designing so in order to start with i will add a nonlinear load to my existing single line diagram and let me see yeah the static load over here and i will connect it to my bus over here then i will rate this for 2 mva and the power factor will be at 85 percentage and i will come okay before going anywhere else i will go to the harmonic page over here then i will go to the library and select one current source so i will select the fluorescent current source over here we have the waveform and the spectrum over here so i will select this then i will conduct a load flow study over here so i'm going to do the load flow analysis okay everything is fine then we will switch over to the harmonic analysis mode over here and this appears over here just close this over here then let me run the harmonic analysis over here it will ask for a file name then i will click on ok then go to the edit study case again and go to the plot options and plot my bus 3 then the harmonic slider appears again so i will close this and again run this and go to my display options okay this is the fundamental harmonic or the first harmonic which is occurring at 60 hertz so this is about 10.92 kilovolt and the total harmonic distortion is given in percentage is about 0.78 percentage and when i slide the harmonic order so this is the first harmonic that is about 10.92 and there is no third harmonic and the fifth harmonic is 0 0.07 kV and this is the seventh harmonic so since the harmonic value is below the specified limits i will go and change the loading to make it more significant i will go to the 10 mba load and again running this okay this straightforward puts me in the critical window over here so as you can see all the buses are exceeding the harmonic levels over here so the rating limits are 1.5 but these are operating about 2.91 and let me close this and now the high total harmonic distortion is 3.45 percentage and the third harmonic is absent fifth harmonic is 0.31 okay now let's go to plot over here then i will select the waveform and the spectrum for the bus 3 so as you can see the fifth order harmonic magnitude is about 2.8 so the magnitude is about 2.8 and here this is about 1.8 seventh harmonic is about 1.8 so this is the distorted waveform over here and next i want to show you is the frequency scan so running the frequency scan again we go to the alert window over here let me close this over here so this system is operating at 60 hertz fundamental frequency so 60 hertz fundamental frequency we have about 0.79 ohm that is the imbalance towards this frequency now if i change the frequency over here you can see the imbalance value changes accordingly and this is one of the reasons where the higher order harmonics have lower amplitude amplitudes so we can have this over here we can go to the plot options and go to the frequency scan then i will plot for the bus 3 over here so this is the impedance angle 
as you can see the brand's angle and over here this is the magnitude of the magnitude of the imbalance towards the harmonic orders so let me change this from the harmonic order to the harmonic order to the frequency so let me change this to the frequency with respect to the frequency i will go this over here and select this select the best device okay then and this gives the angle with respect to the frequency so as you can see in the magnitude plot there is a reduction in the impedance at this frequency over here which is about 4000 hertz and as you can see right about here we have low impedance which is the impedance for the fundamental harmonic and and this is how you conduct a harmonic analysis in ETAP. And in the next lesson we will learn to size a harmonic filter to mitigate the problems caused by harmonics.